All right, let's talk about finding the sum of a column or row. A couple of different ways you can do it that I'm going to show you. So for example, I want to sum up everything in column C here. I can highlight all of column C. I can then go up here to this sigma right here that has some functions under it. I can click sum and push enter. And now I've summed all of column C adds up to $3,100. That's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is um, you can type in the formula yourself rather than using the auto sum function. So I can push the equal sign right here. I can type sum. I'm going to need parentheses. And then I can type in the cell I want to start at, which is um, D4. I put a colon and I end with the cell I want to end at, which is D12. It highlights um, around everything that it's going to add. So I can check to make sure I'm doing it correct. I close it up with parentheses, push enter, and the column D sum is $1,175. Another way you can do it is very similar. I can go over to column E. I can push equals. I can push, I can, whoops, I can type sum put parentheses, and then instead of typing in the cells that I want it to start and end at, I can go up to the top, I can highlight down to the bottom, and then I can close up my parentheses, and I've got the sum of week two at $214. Now, instead of doing this over and over and over again for each column, since each time I want it to come up with a sum, what I can do then is I can highlight this one, that's got this equation already in, and I know it's the correct equation, I can push copy, and then I can go over here and push paste. And you might be thinking like, if this was 214, why didn't it copy a 214 there? Um, the reason is that it's not copying the value that's in this cell, it's copying the formula. So this, this formula was summing E4 to E12, and if I hover over and highlight into column F instead, you'll see that column F is summing F4 to F12, and it would do the same exact thing. I could copy this over for week four, and now you see um, up in the formula bar that it's summing G4 to G12, um, and of course there's nothing in column G yet. I haven't filled it in, so of course the sum is zero. I also want to show you that rows work the same exact way. So this row here um, isn't going to be much of an illustration because it's only got one value. But if I go down and I want to sum weeks one, two, three, and four for transportation and put it into my monthly spending so far, I can use either one of those methods. I can highlight these four and go up to auto sum and push sum, and it's going to put it into column H for me, $250. I can also instead go to here, type it in by hand, highlight everything, and you see I'm including the week four value for food, even though I don't have that in there yet, because you know I'm going to want to enter in a food value for week four in my budget, so I'm anticipating that. And again, um, I know I want it to do this for every single one of the rows from seven down through 12. So instead of doing these formulas over and over, I'm gonna copy and I can actually even highlight everywhere that I want it to repeat this function and push paste. Um, I use the shortcut control V uh, to paste, but I have each of these summed up appropriately now. Hi, this is Jessica from NextGen Personal Finance. I hope my video made you love spreadsheets as much as I do. NGPF is a nonprofit organization offering free personal finance resources for high school teachers to use with their students. Frankly, our curriculum is amazing. Be sure to check out our website or watch my entire playlist of helpful spreadsheet videos. Enjoy!